man that doesn't have any female friendships. Bingo. I, I don't want to date a man who only gets input from other men and who has all women in two categories, your mother or your aunties or someone I want to sleep with. You have to have a broader spectrum on women and their value in your life if you're going to be with me. Totally. Well, first off, only getting information and opinions from other men sounds terrifying. Um, terrifying. So I, I encourage that you not be what anybody does ever, but you're totally right because the more we keep talking about can you have friends of the opposite sex, the more I start feeling like everybody is like primal animals in a zoo. You literally cannot physically be around someone of the opposite sex without just like your clothes coming off. Like I, I don't, do it. I don't, and I would never have any relationship that I'm ever in. Like, I'm not going to tell my partner, you can't be around women. Because if I feel like I have to tell you that, what does that say about what I think you're like when I'm not with you? That I can't trust you to be around women that like platonically, I would say that says more about my choices and who I'm with. Because I'm never going to feel like I have to control you or I have to monitor the friendships that you you are in. Just because watch, you can watch. get the input of females without necessarily them being your friends. I mean, you work with females, right? You're around females all the time. I don't expect you to be like having a guy's night and you got a whole bunch of girls over there. That would be kind of, you know, so I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a the great person to come to with this topic. This is not mine. All she had to say was she want her man to be able to get a level-headed opinion from women rather than those that are his mother and his wife. That's all she had to say. It's that simple. And I don't think anybody in this room would disagree that men should have a balanced level of knowledge from both groups. I actually disagree. Um, my partner is not allowed to have female friends. The only female friend that he is allowed to have is me, myself. And I, and that is completely it. He doesn't have any more room for any female friends. You're a narcissist. I'm with Mr. Leco. I think you're trolling at this point. You're trolling. I know a lot of women feel that way, though. There are a lot of women who feel like they don't want their guy to have female friends. Why? Why? Why is that? Because why do they need to have a female friend? I'm their only female friend that they need. Why would they need another? Female you sound like friend? a doll or something. Why, why, isn't why isn't do you not Chucky want female said? friends? In the movie, I want to be your only friend. You sound like a Chucky doll. Why? What? Sorry, they got it from reality somewhere. I mean, I personally feel like you're the same reason why you wouldn't want my male friend to be calling me, talking about, hey, what's up, girl? Wish you up to come meet me for drink. It's the same way I wouldn't want some girl calling your phone talking about, hey, what's up? Where you been at? Usher made a song call. You make me want to leave the one I'm with. And guess what? That's not happening to me. So y'all can be letting y'all men go and be female friends with other girls if you want to. But no, absolutely not. You're not having no female friends if you're my partner. Sorry, you better cut them all off right now. I'll just wait my turn. I'll just be quiet. Ain't that controlling? Go ahead, Ruth. We, we, we started the show with um, being easily manipulated. So when you're like easy going like that, oh, you can have friends. And that, that happened to me. I, friends and all of that. As soon as we broke up, they was with each other. Okay, she wanted to hear all the tea, and then she got with him, and then it didn't work out the way she thought it would. And from then on, you're not allowed to have any female friends. It's cool. And the men that have a lot of female friends are probably attractive. And what do you think those women want? And if a woman has male friends, what do you think her male friends want to sleep with her the second she dropped the one she's with? Okay, so. They stick. We know men stick around to, you know, get their shot. So my thing is people with they are only saying this because they have male friends and they want to feel good about it. So they want their man to have female friends so they don't have that stress and pressure. So the people that don't have friends, I'm not allowed to have friends. I'm not going to have male friends. No new friends, no DMs, no new friends. They stay together. And the people that do have friends, y'all can all have a big orgy together for all I care. Not an orgy. You know, it's crazy because Ruth is actually telling the truth. That's exactly the vibe I got from those lasers that they a bunch of women who got a lot of male friends and they sitting here trying to shame the women for these men, uh, for these women not wanting their men to have friends. But how do how do how does how else does a man get a understand what she say to understand a woman's value? 
uh, her worth or whatever without you having any. Doctors, you can talk to your parents. You can talk to your sisters, your, your first parents. You don't think your mother would give you an accurate representation of how the woman's perspective? My mother wasn't on social media. Absolutely not, bro. No, absolutely not, bro. Absolutely not, bro. There's so many people that you can uh, get that explain. from. It does not have to be a friend. You gotta watch the people that's talk because that's not happening. Y'all are nuts. Um, I don't think nah. y'all need to no women. women. <laughs> I get it, y'all saying watch the people that's talk. I don't think y'all I don't think y'all being completely yeah. honest. I don't think the ladies that come on this network are being completely honest because they it's, lying. It's ironic that I, it's, say, I have a different take on it. Um I'm my my husband has two female friends that he grew up with, right? Um they were in a picture way before I came along. Um, and so for me, I'm I'm of the type that I'm I would never be or you know, put someone in a situation where if you had uh, you know, friends before I came into the picture, that I'm gonna come in and be like, Oh, you can't be friends with them no more. Oh, you that that just was never my style. However, before we got serious, I had to engage and see what that relationship was like. So that was really so uh, there was never any physical interaction that ever happened between either the friends, you know, that he had. I saw that how integrated they were in terms of their families, things like that. So I took those things into account. So I wasn't feeling very um, uh, feeling the need that. I needed to be like, no, you can't be friends with them anymore. Nothing like that. Um, because I trusted him. And I think that comes along with, with that too. So he's never gave me a reason to make me feel as if I needed to distrust him because of the way he carried himself in all situations, not just that situation with, you know, with the with the friend. Um, and the other thing is pulling me into the friendship. I think there's a difference a lot of times when people are trying to keep those relationships separate because then it leaves you wondering like, oh, you know, why are they, you know, um, off having drinks by themselves or, or something like that. He would never do that. That wouldn't be a situation. If one of the friends call and be like, oh, let's go out and have a drink. He's calling me, yo, um, you know, get dressed or whatever. We're going to go to such and such and meet up with such and such. All right, cool. So I think it's the way that the relationships are. He he He's not going to put himself in a situation that is going to mm -hmm. leave me to think that something is going on or what have you. It takes a very fast to do that as well. So are y'all seeing that? What did you just say? I couldn't hear you. What did, can you repeat what you just said? Hey, hey, Ruth, my bad. Saying, one more thing. And because I also know that he has dick discipline, that's another thing. All of, all of that's them another up. thing. I have to be honest about that. I know that he has dick discipline. So with that being said, that also increased my level of trust that, you know, he was around, you know, he had, you know, female friends. A lot of men just let women manipulate them. So if you know your man is easily manipulated, then he can't handle you. He can't handle his mom. Of course, he can't handle the female friend. He don't know how to hit, deal with it. But every single he has rules. He's making those masculine decisions, and I respect that. So, so y'all good? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait. It's okay to have if the if they had a platonic friendship since childhood. That that's, that's a different. that's the past. That's different. All right. So cool. let go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Mike. Uh, I mean, not Marcus. Marks. So I, I agree with mistaken. Um, and this is my reason for agreeing with her. I at one point in time only seen women as them being relatives or somebody I was gonna fuck. Like it was that's it. Like either I was smashing or we were related. And I had a different view of women while I operated in that space. It was I don't, I don't want to say transactional. I'm, I, I got to think about the best word to describe that type of relationship, but it it, it wasn't viewing them as full people. You was buying ass? You say what? You was buying ass? No, no he I ain't just never bought no ass. As, oh, okay. He's just saying this fucking a family. 
fucking a family yeah <laughs> and and in doing so i think i it wasn't until i got older and i started trying to develop relationships with women outside of sex where i really started to understand the value of of what women could actually provide and then the other intangibles like when we was talking about the other day um I, we was going into a, i went into a segue where i was talking about the appreciation of women and not so i think because this is an extremely nuanced concept because i get what you all are saying about somebody and their base needs and them not being able to to cut off the ability to or set up boundaries like uh ruth and Miss Taken was saying um and i think uh casey agreed with this too so the people that can't set up boundaries and say hey no i'm not crossing this line or i'm gonna be moving deceptively right but then i think there's a, a more elevated uh mentality of of of, of what to use a uh, roof words of of like affirmative masculinity or uh, a man that's operating like really in a masculine form where those boundaries are concrete you not worried because you trust how he operates and navigates through this world and by operating in that and understanding the value that you can get for women it opened a new world of how to interact with women and not just want to sleep with them because I, I literally was not having no other conversations other than trying to figure out how we was going to get to this and then i start understanding like oh this is a different perspective because i don't think this way at all and now i'm starting to see like okay from the other side a lot of times when, when i hear it, like men in the chat or on the uh, panels and they speak it and they like she's absolutely crazy and then i come in and i'm like no nah, i understand what she's saying they'll they'll write it off as are you pandering because you understand you you don't understand them you just saying that to appease the women when that's not actually what's happening what what's happening is because i've been able to develop other relationships with women i can see the perspective approach that they're coming from and, I, and i'm not limited to the view of things just from my isolated lens so being able to do that provides me with more insight and i think it makes you a more well-rounded person so I, I i'm not as pigeonholed into one thought process or one way of doing things and uh it provides more balance within my life specifically